You just never know what you're gonna find in the laneway of the drag boat garage. Hey guys, Mark here, welcome back. So much going on. Uh, got Dave's Falcon in here. Uh, you may have recognized this car, it's been here a few times. We're just gonna upgrade the ignition system to a grid for a little bit better timing control, so small job. Uh, the charger is gone, um, sold and stripped. So it's kind of cool, it happened really, really quick. Sold in minutes, really. Um, we are We stripped everything out of it, which is good because most of the stuff that was in it can go in the new QS1. So that's awesome. I was able to keep all that. I'm happy. It's kind of the way I wanted to sell it. So that's good. So charger's gone. Here's a few clips of us stripping it apart. Um, a lot of questions asked. People say all the time, oh man, what are you doing? Why do you got to keep that boat? And what about Zach? You know, it'd be a good lake boat for Zach. Zach doesn't want a lake boat. And Zach's done that. Zach, what's your take on that? Am I making this shit up or what? No, I... Uh... I want to go fast, I want to go 800 foot, and uh, I've raced like stuff my entire life, and I did the lake boating phase, but I enjoy racing. Yeah, we, uh, I'm kind of an uh, all my eggs in one basket kind of guy. One thing, I, I don't have a lot of residual income to dump into boating, so I can't just keep everything that I've ever owned and stuff it away in a barn for a rainy day. It doesn't work that way, so we have a pretty tight budget here. Uh, and I want to focus, we're focus, We're going to really focus on this new effort here. We want to go racing both of us bad. And um, and we want to be competitive, so we're going to dive in. There's going to be dyno time. There's going to be testing. Like, we've tested hard before, but that shit ain't nothing. We're going to really step this stuff up. So, anyways, tearing it all apart here. The guys that bought it, bought it stripped. They just basically want the boat, the trailer, and the cover, which is awesome. I mean, we're just pulling all the stuff out here. A lot of it I can use in the new boat. And uh, yeah, so anyways, we'll put this on time lapse here and um, enjoy. So as you can see, there's not a lot left. So anyways, charger's gone, Dave's car's in here, and we've been hard at work at this Pro Stock harness uh, that we've been working on. Um, talked about a while back on Instagram and Facebook you saw, we talked about building a new harness to replace the old Mercury one. Uh, there's just, they're old and um, brittle and there's nobody makes an after work one as far as I can as far as I'm concerned, and there's wires in there that don't need to be there and whatnot. So I came up with this idea to make a race version harness in a very quality product, all Tefsa wire. We use TE shrinkable boots, DR25 Raychem protective sleeving. Uh, we've got, you know, a brand new amp, clamp, amp connector for the Merc ECU. Uh, so really nice quality piece um, that we are building for our own project and but um I'm gonna make a jig and make it available to the public so that'll be cool uh, i won't they won't be available until i can test them and i'm hoping to maybe get down get the motors on the dyno and do that um anyways so let me show you some video that we took fast paced blow through building this harness putting it together and then show you the finished product so hope you enjoy okay so this is the factory harness Basically, uh, I want to call it ECU and injector, ECU injector and coil harness. Uh, your amp plug, your amp connector. I've obviously peeled all the tape off and stuff, but this thing's 25 years old. Uh, 
looks like it appears to be probably a 16 gauge, just a, I don't know, GXL, TXL level wire. And uh, I don't know, it's just, I mean, it's mercury stuff, but it's old. So I've gone ahead from Pro Wire USA and I've ordered all the colors that I need in Tefsil wire, which is the premium wire, still 16 gauge, but you gotta understand with Tefsil, <clears throat> it's smaller. Their 16 gauge is the size of a normal 18 gauge. So that makes it really nice, nice and light. It's just good quality stuff. We've got our DR25 protective sheathing. Uh, and then I went ahead and, and got the, um, the heat shrinkable boots that will drop right down and seal that right up. And um, these are pretty slick. These are expensive as hell. These are your amp connectors, which is basically exactly the same as factory Merc. Uh, I got, I bought both ends. So if you buy a harness from me, you will get both ends. You'll have to obviously crimp the end on the ECU, but I provide it with you. It will plug into the ECU the way it is. So it's up to you if you want to change it and our pins and we'll do it properly, termination tools and whatnot. So should make for got really the nice. The amp thing. connector terminated on the female side, which is basically the harness side. So uh, went real well. The um, the, the, with the Tefsil wire, remember it's a smaller jacket, like a thinner jacket, a smaller gauge. And so you gotta be careful when you're terminating it that, you know, 16 gauge Tefsil probably use an 18 gauge terminal. Anyways, regardless, but it worked out really well. It does fit the factory ECU perfectly. Again, I'm gonna provide this harness with this end and I suggest you change it, but it's up to you if you do. So now what we're gonna do is just kind of, we gotta sprawl it out here, lay it out. And I wanna come up with the best plan this here is the injector. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the injector harness for the um, for the laser injection. I could not buy this connector, nor do I want to. I think it's a piece of shit. So I'm going to cut that off, put a Deutsch connector on it, and I will provide a Deutsch connector with the harness as well. So we're going to splice into that. Uh, same with the air intake sensor. I probably cut that off and put a Deutsch connector on there just because I don't really like that. So. From here, we're just gonna to start to sort of map it out and then tie into our switch boxes. Uh, this was the, the Deutsch connector that I had on from the factory here before. Um, and, uh, or not from the factory, but what I had done and we're gonna get rid of this and redo it all so it's all one. So anyway. what I've done here now, you'll see, I've kind of fed the harness to where I need it to go. Um, roughed it in, I guess you would say. And the zip ties that are here, they don't stay. That basically just, holds it in place as I kind of figure out how how it's gonna go. So I know that I want this to go like this. This is going to branch out here and go to my air intake sensor uh, and my injectors. This is gonna to go to the switch boxes, the starter solenoid, and then from here we'll head out to the um, to the coils. This is gonna make its way back up to the front with its switch connector. So the important thing that you have to remember here, when you're going to build a harness like this and you're going to DR25 it and use the shrinkable boots, you can't terminate it or complete it until the shrink wrap and everything is in place. So now the next step is to feed the shrink wrap into place where it needs to go, uh, put your boots into place uh, and get ready for those to be heated and, and, um, and shrunk. And then from there you can terminate it. But for now, you you got a double, triple, quadruple check because again, that stuff's not cheap and those boots are expensive. And then once they're in place, they're not moving. So it's really important that you double, triple check your pin out, uh, your location, that you haven't forgotten anything. And then you go away and go ahead and heat everything into place. So I'm gonna start to get onto that. Just installing this TE shrinkable boot here. <clears throat> They're kind of neat when you see how big they are when you put them on. But yeah, when I put the heat to it, watch how that pulls down and I'll, I'll try and get a close up video of this.
and it reclaims down to this size, shrinks up tight in here. Pretty cool. Guys, so we're getting here. I've got uh, the harness terminated with ring terminals up here. Uh, you, your starter solenoid, some power, a couple of grounds in your switch box grounds, or your, yeah, switch box grounds. So, anyways, got that all closed up here. Um, and again, I still have to terminate the switch boxes here. Uh, we'll put the factory protective boots on it. Uh, and then carry around uh, to the back and uh, and tie it in at the coils. So and then we'll label it at the coils with uh, proper label, so you know. So basically, that's uh, that's just about it. It's almost finished. We're gonna get this end terminated up, uh, and that should wrap this thing up. And um, I want to get this one tested. Um, I just really want to run the motor on a dyno somewhere. Um, probably take it down to Brendan's in the spring run on the dyno, just make sure that everything's switching 100% the way it's supposed to be. I mean, uh, I used factory mercury pin out and, and, and compared it to the other harness and everything, but still, if I'm gonna sell something, this is gonna be the guinea pig. And then once I know that everything's 100%, then we can uh, we can go ahead and sell it to the public. So I think it's gonna be a pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> So guys, there it is. That's the completed harness. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. Um, can't wait to get this on the motor and try it out. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, but uh, doing, looking to do a little bit of test. That being said, now it's Christmas Eve. I'm gonna go and spend some time with my family, but I wanna wish you all a very Merry Christmas. I wanna say I appreciate you all. I appreciate the viewership. I appreciate the shares. Oh, the channel has grown. Maybe not as fast as I expected it to or hope to, but it's growing and it's it's doing well. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, 2021, what can we say about 2021? It was interesting, uh, but I'm not going to hate on it. You know what? Because a lot of really cool shit happened. Um, a lot of really cool stuff uh, happened for me and my family. We were super blessed and um, some others too you know we got to do some racing and uh we got to do a lot of testing we learned a lot you know we got a new boat coming we're building a shop i mean there's so many positives and 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 and, and, and i'm blessed for that i really am wake up every day and think man i don't deserve this but anyways regardless thank you merry christmas happy new year chat soon